Hey everyone, so Shanina Williams. If you haven't heard of Shanina Williams on Facebook, she is a Twitter, I'm sorry, Facebook troll who constantly goes on Facebook and says random crap all day long. And she has 14,000 followers. Yeah, I'm not kidding. She's some religious nut job, like they all are. And she goes on there and posts nonsense. Uh, Twitter, Facebook, Facebook user, sorry, I've been trolling a lot of people on Twitter lately. Uh, a Facebook user sent me a screenshot of this person who sent me a picture of her posting, oh, this is whack people stuff. The only reason why I said it that way is because she sounds like an ignorant moron, so I want to sound like that. Um, but she posted, because I remember on ABC News, I forgot the name of the football player, but anyway, he died from suicide. And a lot of them die from CTE, which is basically head trauma. And a lot of football players, when they get a lot of head trauma, which is basically what happened to uh, Brown, which is why he was acting like a maniac out on the field. And when you have that head trauma, it makes you do wacky things. And a lot of it has to do with suicide and taking your own life. And unfortunately, this man took his own life. And I called her out on her bullshit because no one else did. And she went, this is my mentor, this pastor. And I called her out on her bullshit. Everyone else was saying happy birthday. And I said, so is this the same person who has a mental illness just like you? Is this the crazy person that you got your craziness from? I mean, seriously, the woman is a complete fucking whack job. I mean, who fucking goes on Facebook, gets hundreds and hundreds of likes, becomes the top comment on literally every news station, and constantly posts garbage and nonsense, stupid comments, and they're from her, just for attention. And I don't know who the fuck Shanina Williams is, but she's fucking aggravating. And for her to say, oh, it's the vaccine. And really, it was because of suicide. Had nothing to do with the vaccine. Makes her sound like an asshole. And an ignorant person. And it's kind of ironic if you're a black person and you're also a Christian. Like, Dave, like um, Chris Rock used to say. You obviously don't have any fucking memory. <laughs> you don't really have a memory if you're a Christian and you're black. Um, you know what they used to do to their ancestors. And I'm the same way. And my, and my mom and everybody would get mad at me. You know, I'm like, don't you know that's how slavery began? Was because of Christians. That's why I find it so puzzling. Because Christianity was started because of Jim Crow. Christianity was started because of slavery. Hitler was a Christian. He even mocked atheism. He used to say shit about atheism. If you actually look up historians, you know, he was always talking shit about atheism. But he always said stuff about Christianity too. So who knows where Hitler really lied on religion. He could have fall back on agnosticism before he took his own life. But I'm just saying it's really aggravating when this woman would say something like that and go, you know, well, there it is. This is the vaccine. That's why he died. And she doesn't even read the article. If she would have read the article, she would have known he died from that. And she blocked me. Because they kept commenting on her page. And then she probably got mad at me. I was like, uh-oh. And then blocked me. I can't believe that person has 13,000 followers. I probably have like maybe 100. But it's like, you know what? If you're that dumb, 
calling you out. I'm the kind of person that I will not shine away from ignorance. I just can't. I don't try to hurt people's feelings. So I don't want to hurt people's feelings. But when you're that dumb and ignorant, especially when it comes to science and vaccines, I'm going to, you know, roundhouse that ass of that brain. <laughs> you know what I mean? It just drives me crazy. It's just annoying. Like, I got into an argument with my sister today about fucking vaccines, and it pisses me off that she won't even get the influenza vaccine with her daughters. And I'm like, she's like, there hasn't been enough studies. I'm like, what the fuck are you talking about? Influenza vaccines have been around forever. I get influenza every year. And then my favorite is, my, my favorite is when my sister goes, yeah, but my daughters get influenza and they're fine. That isn't the point. It's to prevent from getting really sick and then passing germs to other people. That's the whole point. I mean, this is what I don't understand about parents. You talk about loving your kids. You talk about protecting your kids. You talk about how you don't want anything bad to happen to them. So why the hell would you not want to get them vaccinated? Especially when COVID and influenza can cause some serious damage to the unvaccinated. Um, your vital organs, which are very important, can have serious consequences to the unvaccinated. That's why I did get vaccinated. And my favorite part is my sister believes that you can become sterile. You can't become sterile from <laughs> from this whole like COVID thing. It's the stupidest thing I've ever heard. I've never heard that ever. That's so dumb. That's like the dumbest fucking thing I've ever heard. I've never heard that ever. I think that's I think that's so stupid. I think that's complete hogwash. I don't buy that for a second. I don't buy it. If a scientist came up to me and said, yeah, actually this does happen, then I would believe it. But I'm not going to believe a mother with two kids who doesn't, who d didn't even graduate fucking college, doesn't even have a PhD, what, did you get your PhD in biology? Did you get your PhD in fucking medicine? You didn't. You know what I mean? Like, I'm taking Carvedial for my heart. I'm taking, um, you know, all these things. And this is what I think is funny. You have all these pills, right? And then I'll go on like Amazon or whatever websites like to read reviews. And you'll read reviews go, man, this thing helped me for my my prostate or whatever. And it's a bunch of bullshit. It's not even true. It's not real. It's a bunch of, those are not even real reviews. And then you read it and it doesn't do anything. Because you know what? I wanted to see the science of it. They do nothing. They do absolutely nothing. There were these suppositories that my mom got me and they were about $40. There were suppositories that you would inject up your ass and they were supposed to help you through prostate. You know what it did? It stained my sheets. It had turmeric curcumin in it. Didn't do anything. Did nothing. I was surprised they even let me return them, but my mom got her forty dollars back, and it was a waste of money and time. It was stupid. Anyway, um, don't go, like to other means like the thing is 
there are scientific studies that tamsulosin does work to relax the muscles from your area to help you urinate. That's the whole reason for tamsulosin. All that other stuff that you see for those vitamins and stuff, it doesn't work the same way. The reason for it is because once it goes through your digestive tract, it already breaks down all those minerals and everything. So it doesn't really get into your body the same way, so it doesn't even work. For example, same thing with turmeric. Like turmeric, yeah, it's probably good for certain things, but it's minuscule. By the by the time you take all that stuff, it hasn't done anything. Like, I've taken turmeric. It does nothing. Like, my mom's like, oh, St. John's work helped my depression. I know it didn't. It did not help. She's just like, oh, okay. And I go, mom, I'm... You 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 only believe it helped your depression because you believed it worked. It doesn't actually help depression. If you go on any John Hopkins or you ask any goddamn scientist or any fucking doctor, they'd all tell you the same thing. They don't work. You know, like my pills slightly work, but they don't. Th those pills, St. John's Wort doesn't really work. They're not regulated by the. FDA, they're not, you know, they don't work. They don't work at all. That's why I think it's funny when people say all this stuff about all these things, and then everyone's like, oh, you're just listening to the media, you're just... And they go, no, it's because it's not science, dumbass. There's no research on it. You know, and once, and that's the thing, once marijuana is legal in this goddamn country... Scientists can actually discover marijuana more and the effects and what it does. And I guarantee you, there'll be more science research needed. And I mean, they already proved that it helps epilepsy. They already proved that. You never know what else marijuana they'll be able to prove. So. But yeah, fuck Shanina Williams. Like, that's bullshit. And fuck Ben Shapiro. That's another thing I want to talk about before I end this thing. He started this hateful documentary called What is a Woman? Here's another one. What is Ben Shapiro? A hateful Jewish person who's an asshole who wants to basically make documentaries and think that he's... A doc, you know, making documentaries and stuff with his Daily Wire website, which is all garbage, and his website looks like trash. 